Hi folks, uh, I am Walker with Red Republic Games. Uh, we make Arena Rex, uh, which we call gladiatorial combat in a mythic age. Um, so we've got a gladiator game set in an arena. Um, it's very positional, all about pushing people into pits, spikes, lions. It's all alternating activations. Uh, you can react during your opponent's turn, and it's all opposed dice pool, so it's really back and forth the whole time. Uh, you've always got a choice to make on how you want to respond to your opponent, and your opponent's always got a choice to make on how they want to deal with you. Um, so it's meant to play quick. List building is super open and simple. You can take whatever models of ours you want, um, and each card is worth a point, so uh, it's pretty easy to build a list and just go. Uh, Full-size game, you're looking at five or six models on a side, it's going to take you about an hour to play once you get the core rules down. So combat resolution in Arena Rex, uh, when it's your turn, you're going to take activate actions with your models. It's all broken up into actions, so your opponent has a chance to respond. Uh, when you take a movement action, you get to move your movement stat. When you attack, you're going to roll your attack dice. They're going to roll their defense dice. And then margin of success, you're going to go down the tree uh, to determine how well you uh, damage them. So if this guy, for example, had three net successes, you could do two, another two, and then three damage for a total of seven, or two, another two, and then trade off some of that damage to gain a favor which is our economic resource. You're going to use that as boost dice and to uh, activate other special abilities throughout the game. So it's kind of a skirmish level game, would you say? Uh, yeah, yeah. Full-size game, you're looking at five or six models on the side. Plays okay. really quick. Um, because both players are really involved the whole time, you're not waiting for someone to wipe you out with a gun line or anything oh, like that and come back 30 minutes later and see what's left. Um, so, so right, right, exactly, exactly. Um, and so uh, it's really meant to be the other game that you can bring along with your big miniatures bag and just throw down when you have an extra 45 minutes or whatever uh, at the end of the night or between rounds. So you can take whatever models you want in our range. We do have certain factions that you can get benefits from if you kind of stack within that faction, but they're not necessary in order to make a good list. Uh, and they're more of a flavor sort of thing uh, that'll give you some some different options, but not necessarily um, you know going to be uh, make or break for your list. So uh, yeah, so our guideline is generally if the crowd believes it to be true, then it is. It lets us play with some more of the uh, the mythic stuff. We got our version of the Gorgon Sisters uh, quest. Beast from Arthurian legend, a Wendigo, things like that. So uh, it lets us play with a little bit more of the, the mythic elements. You're never going to see like a, a wizard with a lightning bolt sort of thing, uh, but there is some mysticism and, and some exploration of superstition as well. Maybe a little of a cinematic take. Right, yes, exactly. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you.